Another option would be to let the Zentran state scan a directory for the files based on a certain naming convention. Um, for now I'm just keeping it simple to give you the idea of how the whole system works. And now that I've created the translate object, I am transferring it onto the view so that this view helper is activated. So these three lines here I could have just typed right underneath here. Um, but I chose to do it in a module so that uh, it doesn't interfere with my non-translatable modules. Okay, so we got the application ready to translate, now we got to create the actual translation files. Uh, so if it's something as simple as an array or an ini file, you would just open up your text editor and do it in there. Uh, if you want to use a get text format, you have to generate a binary MO file for the language. And you can do so using a program called POEdit. And here is how you can use it. First, you got to create a catalog, which is a fancy name for the language file. And this one is just going to be called ZF Tutorial. Um, and it's going to be for Russian it's going to be based in Russia uh, we're going to encode everything in UTF and then the plural forms are the grammatical corrections so that the Zen translate is able to have um, have plurals grammatically correct for all languages. I'm not going into that just yet. The base path here is location of files that need to be translated. And unfortunately, this program for some reason doesn't have a browse command, so I have to type this in myself. That's the base path, and now and the name of the directory that is going to be scanned for translations. And now for the important part, the keyword. The keyword is so that the PO edit is able to locate the message IDs that need to be translated. Uh, that would be this here. That's the keyword. So, so the PO edit is going to look for the translate and the string that's inside of it and it's going to use that as a message ID so translate is the keyword and this is where you want to save file it's going to be in application languages at the moment I'm saving it as a PO which is PO edits file uh, it will then be converted into ru.m automatically. So just save it in the directory where you want the language to be kept. And here it found the string. Now, the reason it found it in mine is because I already set it up to look for the PHTML extension. If this is your first time using PO Edit, it may not know about the PHTML extension. So you're going to have to set it up to be able to recognize them. You can do that in Edit Preferences, Passes, PHP Edit, and put in the PHTML extension here. That way, PO uh, Edit is able to look into our PHTML template files to get the keyword with the message ID string, and you also want to add this to the end. Uh, this part here is the default that comes with the view edit PHP parser. Add this set of characters or set of options uh, to the parser command. This way it is able to recognize the underscore. You need the underscore uh, because it's one of the methods in the Zen Translate View Helper. 
and to, for the view edit to uh, recognize it, yeah, you need this uh, option here. Okay, so that's the two changes that you're making: adding the PHTML extension and uh, dash l PHP. And with that, it picks up the message ID here. And whatever you type in this second box here will show up where you have this message ID. So what you should realize now is that this could be absolutely any ID. Uh, it could be just as a hint for the translator. It doesn't actually have to be the message itself. And then I pu I'm putting in what books actually means in Russian. So this could be uh, um, a simple hint, while I can have an entire paragraph here. Uh, once I press the save, it will generate a MO file, which is what we've included here in the addition of the available translations. So with that, when we refresh the page, we should stake in the bootstrap file, it should be an equal sign here. And you see the translated version came out. Uh, how did it know at this point that it needs to translate it? Well, that's because I manually set the locale to RU.